Morning. Morning, guys. Um, it's Saturday. It's been a while since we've done a video, so we decided to get together and do this today. Yeah. And your, your phone is like, Meh. there you go. My phone That's is like, rant. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're going to ruin my mustache. So, All right. July was pretty busy with us. Oh we God, yeah. did, like, three events. Council was gone for a week and a half. Oh I was yeah. all by myself oh for a while. <laughs> um, but I think August will be a little tamer. Mm-hmm. Um. And uh, we're looking forward to it because yeah. new cigars have started to roll in, mm-hmm. and we figured it was time to do a video. Yeah, and tell you what's kind of already arrived and what's maybe a little bit of what's on the hook. Yep. All right. So, what are you smoking? Oh well. Okay. So I am smoking the Macanudo M Espresso, since he doesn't let me say espresso. Anyway, it's English, damn it. Uh, so this is the uh, Mac M Espresso. I'm really taking to this cigar a little bit. I still love my other Mac M, um, but I'm liking this. It, it's a little more cigar flavored and more and, and less sweetness, and that's what I kind of like. So it's got Nicaraguan fillers. It's got a Filipino um, wrapper, and it's got an Indonesian light and dark barber pole on the outside. So that is a very exotic type cigar, um, and I kind of like that. So it's it's hitting my palate fair, really, really nice and very smooth. I can taste the coffiness in it. So I don't know. I'm, I'm really enjoying this cigar. Yeah, we got those in yesterday. Smoked our first sample of it yesterday morning, mm-hmm. and I, I got to agree with Gonzo. You know, the espresso with cream, as it's called, um, is is a milder, sweet cigar there's a hint of a sweetness there but um you know they they wanted it it's not an espresso with cream and sugar it's an espresso with cream and that's what you get you know there's just a touch of that that sweetness that's in there Mm -hmm. if you're an infused person um this is the third installment with the mac m's and it's another hit i think it's uh, i think it's gonna go good yesterday we went through half a box of the of that size. Of that Toro. Of yeah, the toro, and yeah. a so couple of the Bellicosos as well. So they're going to go well. Yes, they um, are. I, on the other hand, I'm smoking one of the new LCA, uh, Limited Cigar Association. It used to be the... the Pravada Cigar Pravada Club. Pravada Cigar Club. I'm smoking one of their new releases. This is My Blue Haven. Um, heaven. Not heaven. Haven. But it's okay. My Blue Heaven. So... <laughs> Going back 30 years, there was a movie called My Blue Heaven. And um, this cigar is kind of an homage to that. Um, Criollo and Criojo tobacco, Agonorsa. Really Uh. good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Um, Complicated finish. Long. uh, Very flavorful. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm enjoying it a lot. I'm enjoying a lot. I did um, too. So when I ha- when I had it, I enjoyed it very much too. Yeah, yeah. It's it's um, lighter side of medium. It's a good morning smoke. It, it's going well with my coffee. Well, m- mine is a little bit fuller. So as you're getting closer down to the end, you're going to start feeling a little bit more strength um, with it. So I I. I have to. You have, have to be careful when I am uh, suggesting this to other folks. If they're not used to, to a fuller really? cigar, you're, this is more of a fuller a cigar. S- a stronger infused mm-hmm. cigar. Correct. Interesting. Interesting. Well, it's well not you'd expect that infused. from espresso. Espresso needs from, to be strong. Yeah, espresso does need Bold. to be bold. Extra strong. Espresso. <laughs> so. Anyway. anyway. There's a few other things that have come in. You know, we've gotten the um, the uh, Crux du Connoisseur that yes. came in in the middle of July last last month. Oh, it's a yes. fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Skinny ring gauge, a little Lancero. Very, very Lancero-y. Very savory mm. in, its, in its portfolio. It's the so first good. one I smoked had kind of a, um, like a, a cheesy puff flavor profile to it. And the second one I smoked... Had more of the floral notes that I would expect. So, 
could have been me on the first one. Um, the you know the the box does say it's supposed to be more floral, um, and I definitely got that on the second one I smoked. Um, <coughs> there's the second wind from Forte Libre. Yeah. How is that? Oh my God, that is a gorgeous, nice medium cigar. Um, their entire profile, or should I say, their entire line is very uh, strong, potent, uh, spicy, that sort of thing. And the second wind is almost just the opposite. It kind of creates this creamy, nutty, woodsiness in, in the cigar. And it's just so, so good. Very nice, easy, great morning cigar, great last cigar of the night, that type of deal thing. It, it's you, You're not going to get over-bombarded with strength. You're just going to get bombarded with flavor. Yep. So, oddly enough, we did both a Fuerte Libre and a uh, Esteban uh, 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 an Esteban Carreras event mm -hmm. last month um, Esteban Carreras has a new cigar also yeah didn't they no oh they did unfortunately it sold out we weren't able to have it at the event yeah but it'll be coming in so we'll be yes. getting those new cigars from Esteban Carreras soon yes 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 can't remember exactly what it is right now I don't either yeah hmm I don't know anyway Esteban Carreras went really well Esteban Carreras has a lot, again, very strong, very very potent, yeah. very uh, spicy cigars with their Chupacabra, their Brownstone. The Hellcat. The, 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 yeah, the Chupacabra and, Hellcat. And the Cashmere, is, the Cashmere is a great Connecticut. Mm -hmm. A lot of flavor in there. You know, uh, Forte Libre has a great Connecticut, which is the Sun Country. Country it's their number one is, bestseller. Which is not um, really a Connecticut. No, it's, it's a double Lahiro, Connecticut, um, Dominican Lahiro. You know they've they've got some some punch to it, a lot of flavor, nice woodsiness in yeah. there. It's a really really great cigar. Uh, a lot of our stronger smokers go for that Connecticut. Yeah, yeah cause yep. it's not really a Connecticut. Yep. So the other LCA that came in this mm -hmm. week <coughs> is a Southern Draw Lady Killer. The Lady Killer. So if killer. you are a Southern Draw fan. Come on in and pick up a lady killer. Yeah, that, that, was, was, that was, was a very good cigar too. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed, I enjoyed it. that. And we from only start got two bundles of that. Yeah, so we got so, a lot less so of that. So that may go fairly faster. quickly. Yeah. So, it, so you can't you can't beat Southern Draw right now. Southern Draw does it really well with their cigars, and hopefully one of these days in the future we may have Southern Draw here at, at the lounge. We may. But at this we'll time, see. we'll see what happens with Phase Two. Uh, yeah, with Phase Two. Um, at this time, we don't have the capability to do yeah. that. But um, great stick, great stick, very, yeah. very, oh. Yeah. So Pledge is back in. We've got yep. a small order. We've got a small shipment of Pledge from EPC. Uh, there are two new cigars coming out from EPC. They're not new cigars. They're new sizes, a new size of the La Historia, a new size of the Pledge. Mm -hmm. So we're expecting those to, to roll in mm -hmm. probably this month. Um, in addition to that, there's, oh, there's the, the um, CAO uh, V21 flatheads. Yeah, those are those are coming out again. Um, they they kind of release these V21s uh, annually from CAO, and uh, the last time we had they didn't have one last year because of COVID, but the year before they had a V21 also. It was solid black. This one has red a accents on it, so I haven't had a chance to taste those yet, but. Uh, I don't care, I'm, I'm, I don't I'm excited. Care really, what the band is? Do you know what the tobacco I, is? No, I don't. I know I didn't. I didn't do my research. Didn't do your research. But anyway, okay. I know it's going to be a strong cigar, and I love that. And okay. of course, because it's a flathead, it's going to be squared, um, yeah. a box press with a flat top. So yeah. I, I kind of like that type of cigar. Yeah. Anyway, so there's new Curavaris coming, mm -hmm. probably September-ish time frame. We're hoping. Well, we um, already have two new ones. The, that is, we, we brought in the Anniversario, which to me, I mean, it's a Nicaraguan Puro, but it has some Dominican traits to it. There's a woodsiness in there that's really nice. And then the Maduro and the Vintage yeah, I know is uh, a nice, mellow Maduro. It's not overly strong, like most most Curveries are, are a little bit more on the mellow side mm -hmm. than you expect. Built for flavor. Both cigars are really good. There's some new Illusions coming out. Mm-hmm. Uh, new Tatuaje, 
the uh, the T one ten in the Sumatra and the Broadleaf, the Connecticut Broadleaf, are well, on the shelf already. We and we only got one box of each of those. Oh no, we got four boxes. Oh, I re we did. I restocked just the other day. Oh, did you? I thought yeah. we only had one box. No, are you kidding? It's a limited. I wouldn't buy just one box. I thought they only sent us one box. Nope. Four of each. So we have. Are extras. you sure? I am sure. I'm gonna have to look at that. I don't know. Anyway. I know. I know. Oh, he's so stupid. Came in while he was gone. <sighs> anyway. Oh, that's probably why I, I don't remember putting that in. I thought it was only one box. Anyway. So I, it's a great. I, I love the, the Sumatra. The Sumatra, to me, had a better flavor than the Broadleaf. But I, we did smoke them back to back. We did the Broadleaf first, and then we did the Sumatra. Um, and the Sumatra just hit my palate better that day. We've only smoked one. You're, you're right. We've so, only smoked one of each. I mean, it, it and it to me it was a toss up. They were very close mm. in in my satisfaction rating. They were very close. Um, the Sumatra, you know, it, it has a little bit more of that spiciness, a little bit more of that that depth of flavor. I think um, the the broadleaf tends to be a little stronger. Um, so you know, it just depends on your palate. It just depends on what you're looking for. Yep. But they've both been selling well. Yes, they have. Yeah. Yep. There is a, a new uh, Partagas Decadus that is re being released shortly uh, that we have ordered, and we're looking forward to having it come in. The other two Partagas Decaduses, uh, the one that came out in 19 and then the one that came out last year, were fantastic. I mean, really great Cameroons, very well aged. The new Partagas Decadus is going to have a 12-year aged Cameroon wrapper. It's going to be mm. magnificent. Sounds tasty. Silky and sweet. Sounds Looking tasty. All right, so that's um, that's a little bit of a teaser of things to look out for, things mm -hmm. that are coming to the lounge. Um, this month, in addition to mm -hmm. that, there is new Aladino cigars. Yes, so when is that again? The Aladino will be a part of our breakfast this time. It's going to kind of be a brunch event. Mm -hmm. And I believe it's the 21st of August, Saturday. Uh, yep, it is the 21st. 21st of August. Correct. Uh, so so the that's new, two weeks. The new Aladino is a vintage, vintage Habano. Habano. And we've ordered it in a couple different sizes. So mm -hmm. we're looking forward to those cigars as well. So yeah, that's that's gonna be. Yeah. I, I'm I'm excited over that, and I believe right now that's the only event we have right now. That's the that's the only main event. We yes. might we might do a couple more little things with our meet Mondays. Um, that's worked really well. We we just did a meet Monday, and uh, featured some EPC deals. Mm -hmm. um, we may do another one and feature some more with Illusion coming up. Um, maybe some Tatuaje. We'll, we'll see how it, it we'll see how it plays. Yeah. So come on out for me Monday and uh, have a little cigar special going on, and uh, enjoy some some grilled or smoked foods. I think we're gonna do smoke this time. Monday, we're gonna smoke it. We like to smoke it. Yeah. We like to smoke, smoke it. Smoke it. it. <laughs> Just stupid. All right. Anyway. So th that's what we got coming up right now. Um, don't forget, every, th every other Wednesday, uh, I head over to Star City Brewing, um, and we, I vend over there, and we have s beer and gars on the patio with uh, Star City. So just don't forget that. We're, we're, that's coming up on the oh. 11th. I'm talking too much. My cigar went out. Oh, goodness. Oh. Uh, so well. anyway, so that's coming up on the 11th. And then, of course, again on the 25th. So, just so you know. All yep. right. Anyways, it's we great, are Great weather right now. 14. I mean, we're in, we're in August, but it's great weather, so patio's open. We're at 14 minutes. Gonzo says we have to stop. Well, we're about to hit 15. So, people don't want to listen to us for 15 solid minutes. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> we're going to cut it. Stay safe. Stay sane. <laughs> Stay healthy. All right. Salud. Salud.